What's up, guys? Jay? We're gonna have to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And today, we're just gonna go ahead and cut all the bullshit, alright? Yesterday, I had one of the most exhausting days of my entire fucking life. And I'll talk more about it tomorrow, but right now, we, we got some serious fucking business to attend with Banshee because Bungie... Man, <laughs> Bungie be trolling harder than a motherfucker today. So, all right, all right, let, let me paint this picture for you, right? Last week, Bungie decided to sell the DIS 47 again after not selling it for months and not seeing the full auto max stability roll that we've had for four or five months now and after many 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 people have been holding on to it for months Bungie goes ahead and busts out not just one but two fucking full auto rolls on the first fucking week they bring it back normally this is not something that I would complain about. But let's look at the first roll. Hammer forged, full auto and rifled fucking barrel. I get it, Bungie. I, I understand how range codes work in a game. But this is a gun that kicks like a fucking mule. Now while range isn't a bad perk to have on your gun, this also needs some stability bonuses. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other full auto roll. High caliber rounds. All right. Full auto. Fucking A. Fucking injection mode. Now, while this isn't a terrible roll at all, and I'm not usually one to spit in the face of a fucking gift horse, and it'll probably be one of the most annoying fucking guns that you'll play against in PvP. It'd be even better if it had max stability on it. Now, don't feel bad about picking up this package. I, I might myself. But I, I, I know what some people are thinking, right? You're like, Mac, maybe Bungie thinks a full auto max stability version in this meta might be too OP, right? Oh, really? <laughs> so, Bungie doesn't want to release a gun through the gunsmith that might be OP. Well, how about we just go ahead and take a look at this week's Judith package. Oh, wait, what, what's that? Is that the fabled crowd control reactive reload rank one roll that has enough damage with weapons of light? To one shot kill a guardian in the crucible? Well, that can't be OP at all. Now, can it? It's not like a fabled hand cannon that Mac used to love inside a year one destiny was capable of one shot and guardians in the crucible and got nerfed before Xbox users ever got a chance to fucking feel what it feels like to one shot somebody in a fucking crucible. God damn it, Budgie. You had one. Fucking job! If you're gonna sell this fucking gun, bring back my fucking Hawkman! <laughs> Please! All he had to do was put Braced Frame or Hand Laid Stock on that 47 that we've been holding on to for months now. But no! You gotta give Titans a gun that can one shot people in the PvP! Even though that's kind of what you nerfed the Hulk move for, isn't it? Right. Now, don't get me wrong. I learned the game. I love playing it. Sometimes you, you, you gotta wonder if, if Bungie is playing the same fucking game that we are. Christ! <laughs> <laughs> And for the other packages this week, the DIS-43 sucks, the Kuma Katak sucks, 
and Elliot Mila, all three packages this week suck ass. Now, that's not to say that they can't be good guns or aren't good guns. Just the roles that they brought this week aren't worth using. All three of them I've dismantled. If you want a good version of them, hold on to them for another week. I just, I don't have any inventory space left, which is a whole nother rant. I'm saving for a whole nother day. <laughs> so... My name is Jay. More than I have to kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. But let me know in the comment section down below. If you pick up that high caliber full auto DIS 47, tell me, how do you like it in the Crucible? I, I don't want to waste my package on a gun that I'm not going to be happy with, especially since... High caliber rounds usually slow up a gun's handling as you sweep across the screen. And as someone who plays on a pretty high sensitivity, the last thing I want is a perk that's going to make my gun feel like it's taking a walk through the mud. Let me know in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.